Chef Mark, tip of the day. I'm going to talk about fennel. This is a vegetable a lot of people I feel don't purchase this vegetable because they might not be familiar with how to cut it. So this uh, fennel's already been cut down a little bit. A lot of times when you buy it, it'll have big long fronds. You want to go ahead and cut those off. You can use the frond ends. They're really nice uh, in salads and these chop up or you can leave them whole. If you want to use them as a garnish, I recommend soaking them in some ice water. That's going to allow them to really perk up. Um, the ends of the fronds, you can go ahead and slice these, but once you get into the deep green part, maybe the first six inches or so, I would recommend stopping. This is really great in vegetable stock and even chicken stock. It's, it offers a nice flavor. The flavor, of course, is maybe a little bit of that licorice or even a basil flavor. So what I'm going to do here is I've got that root end. I'm going to have that root end facing down. I'm going to bridge grip, reach over, make a slice. And then I've got the core right here, and what I'm going to do, I normally do this facing towards me, but I'm going to do it towards the camera so you can see, maybe a little easier. And I'm going to pull that core right out. And then what I have here is a nice V-cut. And then a couple different approaches here. You can take each panel and maybe slice those individually. And of course, you can turn those if you wanted to dice your fennel. Or you can leave the core the entire uh, lobe together there, and just off you go. And that's typically what I do. I find that you get the same uh, same quality of cut. Um, if you get little bits of fronds in there, don't worry about it. It's going to just dissolve in the pan and be really lovely. It's a nice vegetable to serve either cooked or raw. It's wonderful in salads. You know, some light vinaigrette and um, some of those tomatoes that you know now know how to dice, and you've made a really nice summer salad. Chef Mark, tip of the day.